All right, so after a long time, this might be the first intro to an intro of video that I've ever done. Um, I'm not sure if this is a world first or not, but this is an intro to an intro because I'm recording this like sometime down the line after I recorded uh, this next video that you're about to see. And I guess I wanted to make the intro to explain some stuff that kind of gets explained later, but like also some stuff that doesn't get explained. So uh, to begin with, uh, this this big video, however long it ends up being, like, should have been separate parts. But then I was like, why the hell don't I just do, like, a long part, like, a long first part, at least, for Resident Evil. So, unfortunately, I don't have the original footage anymore, but I'm going to try to combine uh, a couple of parts together and make it a longer video. So you might see some, like, mid-video fade-ins and fade-outs. Uh, that might be a little bit weird, but... Uh, so you might see some of that. Um, the other thing is that I probably should have wrote a list down so that way I knew what I was talking about. But one of the other things that I wanted to talk about was that uh, there might there might be some issues in in some of these like early videos as I recorded stuff and uh, figured out some things that I wanted to do or that I wanted to change. Things definitely get better. Um, the audio is a little bit not great. There's some background noise in like the first couple sets of videos that eventually get figured out um because i had to like move some stuff around and then i had to wait for like longer cables and then i didn't really want to wait for longer cables so i recorded anyway but it ended up not being as perfect as i would have liked so uh there's some issues here and there but they do get cleaned up but i guess mostly that's probably just like the two things i wanted to talk about so this uh this world first intro to an intro is over hope you enjoy this long video and uh, i'll see you guys in the future all right, well, welcome to the first game that I'm doing in an extremely long time, and uh, hopefully it'll be good to be back, but as usual in the beginning of games on the intro screen, usually I, I talk for a little bit, and this will probably be no different. I'll try to keep it within a reasonable amount of time because some of my intros in, in other games have been very unreasonable, but if you don't care about what I have to say or what I have to talk about and you'd rather just see me jump into the game then feel free to skip ahead there will probably be a timestamp somewhere for you to, to skip ahead or if it gets forgotten then you can just skip ahead and uh, sorry for not having a timestamp or something but uh, other than that yeah this will be the first game jumping back into it figured I would do Resident Evil 2 it's not it's not too long of a game uh, it's it's more on the shorter side so it'll be easy to, to jump into it get it complete figure after this I'll probably do Resident Evil 3 remake as well um, also it falls under the same thing where it's not too long it'll be pretty easy to beat and by the time um resident evil 2 is even done uploading i'll probably have resident evil 3 started recording if not completely done so i'm trying to get a little bit of a backlog before uh, i make a video about coming back and that way i'll have at least some footage to upload over time so that way it's not like hey I'm I'm back I'm gonna try and do stuff again and then like something happens and I have no footage and it's like okay well obviously that was a lie so we're gonna start with Resident Evil 2 uh, go into Resident Evil 3 if you have any games you would like me to play any suggestions of games that I haven't done over the years or just something you'd like to see feel free to let me know because I would I would really like to know what people want to see so I can play it um, I'm sure there's a couple things that I have an idea of what people would want to see, but we'll see what people say. And uh, no promises on doing everything that people suggest because people will be split on what they want to see. But I'm sure there are some things we can agree on and uh, get to that eventually. Um, the other the other main goal is to eventually probably start streaming. Uh, that, that looks pretty fun. I dabbled in it here and there. Not it was, it was pretty small the amount of times I streamed, but it, it looks like it would be pretty fun. And I would have a little bit more freedom to just kind of do whatever I want. And people can come and go as they please and, and all that stuff. And other than that, I don't... I probably should have, like, written down bullet points that I wanted to talk about. But I'm an idiot, so I've never done that. I always just ramble. And I'm like, man, I really should have wrote this down before. But then I don't do it. And then I just ramble. So other than that, we'll probably jump into it. Get a little bit of this done. Uh, you'll have to forgive me for any issues that might come up. Uh, I've been having to catch up on recording and other things. I had to buy a bunch of uh, equipment. 
and upgrade my equipment to jump back in so things might not be perfect i'm also recording on pc and as we know that's usually a disaster for me but if i am going to get into streaming it would be nice to try to try to find my my way around obs and all that so if you've got any tips and things that would be good to know i would love to know them and other than that we'll just jump in start resident evil 2 this will be a little different than most of the games that you've probably seen on the channel because I've already played this before. Most games that you've seen on the channel over the years I have not played before, so this will be a little bit different. It's more about being comfortable trying to get back into it and doing stuff that I know. Not saying that there won't be any issues, but this is where we're going to start. So, without any further delay, see that wasn't that long. There, there have been times where I've talked for, like, Call of Duty 4, the, the remaster, was, like, seriously, like, 40 minutes of talking. I don't know how I did that, but either way, we're going to jump into Leon. Uh, I like playing Leon. He's my favorite character in Resident Evil. Uh, I think Claire A is canon, but I usually just like playing Leon, and I'll probably just do uh, Scenario B or Second Scenario, whatever they call it in this game. I don't, I don't think it's called A and B in this game. I think it's called, like, First and Second Scenario, so probably do Leon A. I'm just going to call it Leon A because screw it. And we'll go into Claire B. And uh, that's the general plan. So now without further ado, I'm going to shut up. Uh, actually, I lied. I have to pick a difficulty. I'm going to go on assisted because it's been a long time since I've played. I'm a little bit older now, uh, so it's not looking too good for the reaction times and, and the gameplay ability. So we're just going to do assisted because that's going to be fun. I'm joking. We're, we're going to do standard. Uh, I thought about doing hardcore, but, like, it probably wouldn't be too bad, but if I'm going to do hardcore, I'd probably save it for, like, stream, for a stream, just kind of do whatever. Uh, I figured standard's a good middle ground. Assisted would be, like, way too easy. Hardcore probably wouldn't be too bad, but I just want to do standard, so we're going to do standard. Now there's a bunch of cutscenes, so I'm going to shut up, and you've probably already seen this stuff, but here we go. Last Friday night, I was walking home from the bar, and this woman started coming towards me. She was staggering, you know, so I, I figured she was drunk. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, tell us, be honest now, how many drinks did you have? No, man, I, I barely had a buzz on. Oh, come on. Look, just listen, all right? She got closer, and I got a good look at her. You had to see her eyes, her nose, her whole face. It looked like it was rotting. Yeah. She looked like a corpse, like a walking corpse, man. Sounds like my wife. I've never seen anything like it. I haven't been able to sleep since that night. All right, calm down, buddy. Calm down. Just, hey, you got to stay strong, okay? Don't give in to fear out there, right? Yeah, well, you got that right. If you freeze up one of these things, it'll sink their teeth in a little. I saw a tax on my head. Oh, come on. It's just getting good. So the way that he says he needs sleep, and then oh, like shit. five seconds later, he just runs someone over. And it's like, well, I guess he was right. He did need the sleep. Thankfully, it was someone who's already a zombie, so it's not like, it's not tragic or anything. The zombie doesn't even die somehow. Got hit by a big rig, hauling probably like gas or something, and then the zombie just like, just gets back up and doesn't give a shit. Calling the cops or, like, an ambulance would have been a good idea. I also have no idea what Leon is listening to. But, you know what? I, maybe that's the only song on the radio. Got Leon in his classic Jeep. I'm pretty sure he had a Jeep in the, in the original Resident Evil 2. Rolls into town in a jeep. No one's around. That's weird. Man, 
That's weird. Of course it's weird. I don't know how he didn't see the, the police car parked with the door open and, like, no one around. And all this blood, by the way. Didn't Leon have to go through police training because he's, like... He's basically reporting to RPD to be a cop. So you'd think he would have gone through the police training, but I guess he's not very keen on, like, the blood and the, the cop car and then the more blood. But at least when it comes to this game, I do have experience with the original Resident Evil 2, even though it's been a, a long time since I played it. And I do have experience with this game, so I'll be a little bit more knowledgeable than usual when it comes to the game. And the gas station exists in the in the original game, but it seems like they moved it to, like, the outskirts of town. Whereas I'm pretty sure the, the gas station in the original was, like, in the middle of town. Because there's, like, a bunch of buildings nearby. A bunch of zombies pop out. But now it was just a cutscene in the original game. Now it's kind of a little playable tutorial area. Which I thought was pretty interesting. Hello? Anybody there? Gonna have to pick up some herb ice cream on the way out. Get a green and a red bar. Combine them. Something's not right. Something's not right. Oh, we looked at all of the blood already, Leon. What do you mean something's not right? We already know something's not right. It's like now he's convinced. I was, I've never tried to like look in this door. The door you end up coming out. Oh, there's a guy over there. Got some coffee. We got some wine, soda. How about some water? We got any water around here? Probably already passed the water. You all right? Probably like a pallet of water over here somewhere. There's a pallet of beer over here. It's on sale. Don't twelve worry. pack. I'll be back for you. Nice twelve pack on sale. Yeah, sir. We'll come back for you. Don't worry. No problem. I'll be back in a few for you. Just stop the bleeding on your own, I guess. You'll be stop fine. Moving. Officer, you need help? Stay back, sir. I got this. Do you, do you though? Does he have it? Fun fact, this cutscene actually caused me a lot of issues when I was trying to do Freeze. test recordings because I think, it's, I think it's mostly the like Son the blood that pours out of the guy's neck, but also the flashlight a little bit. Like, my GPU usage would skyrocket during this part, and I had to tweak settings quite a bit before it, it finally was decent. I'm not going to say it's perfect, but it was, it was finally decent enough to, to start it up. But that cutscene surprisingly, like usually my GPU is like I don't know, 40 or 50 percent. But then during that cutscene, it would seriously like spike up to 100 percent and cause like really bad lag issues. So I'm also incredibly sick of this beginning part Don't shoot. because Get I down. have played through this beginning part so many times. You have no idea. Like I can't wait to be done with this beginning part. I can't wait till I actually get to the police right? station. Yeah, I think so. And get to Thanks. do something. You can thank me later, when we're safe. Holy shit! Also, I don't know where all these zombies came from. I, I guess they come out of the cornfields and they hear a couple bullets from Leon, a couple gunshots from Leon. Come on! I guess that just ends up attracting all of them. Get in! Hold on. I don't know. Hopefully they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. Live around here? No. Looking for my brother. He's a cop, too. Looking for Christopher. Well, it's a good thing we found each other. I don't know what to expect anymore. You and me both, Leon, even though I've already played through the game, so I kind of have a good idea of what's going to happen. But I actually like the remake of 2 a lot. I have a lot less experience with the original 3. Because I've only played and beaten the original Resident Evil 3, like, probably one time. Uh, but I've played the remake 
a good bit. And I think the, I think three the remake of three is a good game overall, but I'm pretty sure it's missing quite a lot of stuff from the original Resident Evil three. So I, I wouldn't be able to really speak much on that. But when it comes to Resident Evil two remake, I think the Resident Evil two remake was done a lot better. Um, there are some things that I'm probably kind of upset about. I wouldn't say upset, but like wish things had gone a little bit differently. But I think overall, Resident Evil Two remake was like really good. I don't, I don't really have many, many problems with the game. It's just a really good, solid overall game. I think the, I think the remake d does the original Resident Evil Two some, some pretty good justice. This is so unreal. Police station's not much farther. You'll know something. Yeah, but what if we're the only ones? What if there's no survivors? No, there's survivors. It's a big city. There has to be. Looks like we're walking from here. Looks like we're walking, except not really, because there's dudes getting eaten in the streets, so maybe we should avoid that. Maybe we want to avoid that. Yeah, good call. Especially because Leon only has like six or seven bullets left. Uh, here's our friend, the truck driver. Holy shit. Not Can't really much of a friend, but... It's alright, the nice, the nice truck driver will help us out, Claire. Don't worry. He'll pass out and help us out. Some like gasoline leaking out of the car. Nice. That's not gonna come back to bite us at all. Oh, never mind. Blew up. Who could have seen that coming? Oh no. Oh well. Here's a bigger explosion. Ouch. Claire. Claire, you okay? Doing you can't too stay well. here. It's not safe. Go on ahead. Could be worse though. I'll meet you at the station. I'll be there. This is out of control. Right, and similar to the streets in the original game, you just run past everything. I mean, I guess you could shoot stuff, but you only have seven bullets or so, depending on how many times you shot the zombie in the gas station. So probably not a good idea to try to take down like the forty zombies in the streets on the way to the Shit. police station. It's everybody. They've all turned. I was also kind of disappointed that they cut out some of the streets. Like, we're we're pretty much like already done. There it is, the station. Whereas the streets in the original game kind of went on for a little bit, but like I don't know, most of it was just dodging a bunch of stuff, and then some of it was gunning your way past zombies, depending on how you wanted to play it or how good you were. I don't know why I went behind this guy. I almost got grabbed immediately. That would have been embarrassing. But the streets, they got kind of cut up. I think Claire gets a little bit more of the streets. Like, she gets the basketball court and some other stuff. I don't think Leon does. Because Claire has to go... Is anybody here? Claire has to go to the orphanage. So, like, part of the streets that they cut out ended up being in Claire's section. But I understand why they cut out some of the streets. Uh, I think They probably did go on for a little bit too long. But... I like them. I don't know. I like running through the streets of Raccoon City. It's a fun time. Now I actually get to explore and look for stuff. 
which I hadn't been doing in all of my tests, because I would pretty much get to here, and then I would go uh, in the door that's, like, right below me, which is where you have to go just to test stuff. And I had to do that, like, over and over again. And it just wasn't the most fun ever. Like, the first couple times, it was, like, cool. But, like, after the 40th time, it's like, man, can I, like, just figure out the recording settings that I need so I can actually, like, start recording the game? Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know while we are the home of pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long, rich history of its own. And this guide will introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. The police station. The building in the center of town wasn't always a police station. In fact, it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us of a bygone era. The orphanage. Yeah, I was just talking about that. Just a few blocks from the police station is an orphanage founded and run by the Umbrella Corporation, oh boy, with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window, which attracts visitors from all around the world. Wow. Oh, cool. We're already done. Normally, I would, like, read everything, but, like, I don't know. I feel like people can read it on their own, and it takes me longer to read it out loud, so I always wondered if I should have just, like, I don't know, just read it, read stuff silently, and let everyone else read stuff on their own but kind of something i always did if i could make it out of the door it just shuts in my face kind of something i always did i feel like people are just kind of mixed on it some people like don't want you to read it some people don't care you know i usually read stuff but it, it does tend to take longer especially if there's a lot of text and it's just easier to like just have people read it silently but once you make it here, you can just kind of wander around. Most of the doors are going to be locked. But there are some supplies littered around the area. Some uh, some healing items, handgun bullets, that stuff. I also have the original classic music playing, or the soundtrack. Uh, mo mo I think most of the game, if you pick the remake soundtrack, there's just really not a lot of music. It's mostly just silent. And uh, because I really like the original Resident Evil 2, I really like playing with the classic soundtrack, especially for that sweet, sweet save room music that is amazing. But I'm sure we'll get to that a little bit later uh, when I actually make it to a save room, whenever that is. I have this deluxe weapon that I'm obviously going to take out and use to piss everyone off. No, we're just going to leave that in the box. I can save. I have a couple uh, other things here. This, this actually, these aren't my files, and this was a test file, so... Doesn't matter because I already told you that I've played and beaten the game before, and it's been out for a little while, so. You guys already know. There has to be someone here. Not good. No, very not good. You there? I found a way out. It's in here. Ooh, almost got bit. Send reinforcements. East hallway. We gotta find that guy. Oh yeah, we gotta find and save him. I even do it. Oh, it just shows you on the map. Okay. View map. I'm hitting M, but like it doesn't care, I guess. So I guess I would just have to do it here. Making use of the map, I already know most of this stuff, even though I probably forgot it. Shows, like, the item box, typewriter, um, points of interest. I think this is the statue. This is, like, the taped-up breaker box. I don't know what the hell this thing would be called, but, like, shows points of interest, so it's always good to kind of check things out, get them to be put on your map. Did I, uh, yeah, I already got, oh, well, health and recovery items. I already know about that. I'm going to drop some of this stuff off because I probably shouldn't need it. I need to discard this key to not even have it in the box because we're already done with it. And I'll move that over there for organization purposes. And now we'll actually do something. Kind of interesting that you start the game going into this area now. When I think this was an area you you didn't get to until later. And then when you do get to this area in the original game, there's like 10 zombies in a hallway for some reason. It's like, it's pretty ridiculous. Hmm. Sounds a lot scarier than it is, but if you have the shotgun by that point, it's like seriously two shotgun blasts and then like, 
I don't know, maybe some pistol shots or, or knife, some knife hits, and like the whole hallway is, is pretty much cleared out, but in this game you come to the hallway pretty early, there's not as many zombies immediately, which is kind of sad because I always liked the clown car of zombies that ended up being in this hallway. Like, there's three zombies in here that end up getting getting out when we try to leave. Nice flooded hallway. Great stuff. I can turn the lights on here, but I, I don't know what the point of turning the lights on in this place is. Some handgun ammo here. You can actually open this drawer later, but you need to develop some film first. Because otherwise, if we, if we don't have the film showing us that there's something in here... Then we just don't know how to open the drawer, so... I guess the film teaches us how to open a drawer. But other than that, yeah, I don't I don't know what the point of having the lights on would be. There's just something you can do. It lets me put the flashlight away, but... Pretty short-lived. You can also check your map, and if stuff ends up being blue... Then you're probably mostly done with the room. Though I'm sure people who are fans of the series and have already played this game know that. So I'm teaching basically nobody anything, since everyone already knows. Cleaning in progress. Well, it looks like there was a bit of a flood. Uh, we can't go into the women's bathroom because we're playing as Leon, so we're just not allowed to go into the bathroom. Of course I lied to you. Of course, I'm just going to lie to you this whole playthrough. Nice flooded toilet. Whole bathroom's flooded. I think, like, the only thing in here is that first aid spray. Need to get to the watchman's room and help out Elliot, I think his name is. I think his name's Elliot. Don't quote me on that. Don't tell Elliot that I got his name wrong, either. He's Jesus. not going to be happy. Open up! Hurry! Open up! Open this goddamn door! Yeah, I'll get to it. Don't worry. I gotta, like, explore a little bit first. I mean, you can sit here all day and it doesn't matter. I'll get you out! Whether you get here fast or not, it doesn't really Please, matter. Help me. Unfortunate. Give me your other hand. Well, things aren't going very well, as you, as you can see. Jesus Christ. It's really not good. It's pretty disgusting. It's not an image I would like to see more than once, but unfortunately I've seen it many times. Normally I skip cutscenes because I've played the game before, but for recording purposes, that's not exactly, you know... For, for an initial recording, it's probably not what you want to do. But uh, we have some puzzle solutions here. I don't really know if you would consider it a puzzle, but some solutions to get some medallions. The medallion system was changed a little bit in the game. I think you only really needed to find, like, one medallion uh, in the original game under Chris's diary or journal or whatever. I don't think this guy's dead yet, though, either. Nope. It's probably a waste of ammo to, like, continue to shoot him, but... I like shooting zombies. Of course his head pops on, like, the bullet he was gonna die anyway. So we got this, like, sick, tense, breaking music from the original game that doesn't stop Jesus. until you get out of here. They're everywhere. These zombies are also, like, really easy to kill. These initial ones, they die in, like, two bullets. I'm pretty sure all the zombies in this game have a set amount of health. And some of them are much easier to kill than other ones. And other times you have head pops to help you out, which is great. I also didn't take these boards for some reason. Am I done in here? Yeah, I think we're all good in here. I think there's like one more. Oh yeah, there's one more. I'm just gonna leave him. I don't know what happens to them if you leave them, so I'm just like not gonna worry about that guy. And I'll deal with them later if I have to. Oh no! What will we do? It's Marvin. Hell yeah, Marvin's got it. Thank God for Marvin. I love Marvin. Marvin's You're great. No. I like Thanks. Marvin so much. Marvin Brown. Leon Kennedy. There was another officer I, I couldn't... I could... 
Here. Take my bloody hand, Leon. You got it, Chief. <clears throat> I'm sure you did what you could, Leon. I mean, I took a little bit longer than I would have liked to help Elliot, but it doesn't Anyone matter, so. This? Not a clue. But honestly, all you need to know is that this place will eat you alive if you aren't careful. Yeah, well, I was supposed to start last week, and I got a call to stay away. I wish I'd come here sooner. You're here now, Leon. That's all that matters. Okay, Lieutenant. I'm ready. Hopefully you'll be able to find a way out of this station. That officer you met earlier, Elliot. He thought this secret passageway might do the trick. Mm. This is good news. We can get you to hospital. No, no, I am not the priority here. Lieutenant, I'm not just gonna leave you here. I'm giving you an order, rookie. You save yourself first. I'd come with you, but I'd just slow you down. Now, you'll need this. I can't take it. Stop. Him. Listen to the man, Leon. Listen to him. And don't make my mistake. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. You take it out, or you run. Got it? Yes, sir. <laughs> no, Marvin. Why? Why would this happen to Marvin? So sad. Dang it, Marvin. Why couldn't you just live? All right, it talks about the combat knife. It has a durability in this game and can also be used as a counterattack. In Resident Evil 3, it, you just get a knife by default and it doesn't have a durability so it's like a little more useful but I don't think it can be used as a counter attack at all I need to remember to how to slash here gotta slash away from Marvin wouldn't want to wouldn't want to hurt him any more than he's already hurt I don't think we can talk to him anymore either I can do this puzzle uh, if I could remember how to here we go I don't even know which one this is is this the what is this one is this just the like oh wait no it's, it's actually upstairs. This is just where you put the medallions in. I'm crazy. This is the lion statue. It's right up here. Might as well get this out of the way so that I'm not carrying it around in my inventory. I actually don't know the hockey to open this up by itself, but... So what we need? We need lion, uh, like, barley or wheat, and then some bird. Alright. We got lion. We got wheat stick, piece branch, and we got some sort of bird and we get a medallion bam I don't know what else is really up here to do but Marvin's a great character he's kind of they kind of expanded on his character in the remake which I really like because I'm pretty sure in the original original like version of Resident Evil 2 that was scrapped Marvin has a much was bigger right. role yeah but the passage isn't open yet nice Marvin, Marvin originally had a much bigger role in the game, but it was scrapped, and uh, in, in the version of Resident Evil that got released, uh, you only you run into him in, like, I think it's, like, this this area, which has all been changed now, but you run into him here, he gives you a key card, I think, and then you come out back into here, and you open some doors, and then later on you find Marvin, he's turned into a zombie, and you kill him, and it's real sad, but in this game, uh, they, they made him a little bit more... Of a, of a major character, which I'm really happy about, because I, I really like Marvin. I think that stems from... I don't know, when I was a kid, you it's just like everyone's all messed up, and there's zombies, and everyone's dying, and you're looking for any survivors, and Marvin's one of the one of the few survivors you do run into, especially this pretty early on in the game. I imagine my first day. And he's already hurt, and he's messed up, and things don't end, end too well for Marvin. Uh, by the by I, I wouldn't even say the end of the game just by like the middle of the game It's not too good, but it's nice seeing him Get a get a bit more of a, of a spotlight In the game I'm also gonna walk over here and do more inventory management So that's good. You also learn what happens to Marvin in Resident Evil 3 um, But I probably just won't spoil that for now I, I'll probably use these wooden boards. You'll probably see if you watch the Resident Evil 3 playthrough. 
assuming I that I do play it and record it, which I don't know why I wouldn't, but uh, we'll probably see what happens then. Just to avoid any spoilers for someone who may not have seen it, but there's probably going to be spoilers that are talked about in the game here and there, so hopefully I don't ruin anything too much for people, but that's that's where we are. The helicopter coming in. What happened to this guy? Oh God. Yeah, that's really nasty. Ooh, really, it's really not good. Basically, this little hallway was kind of changed in the beginning. There's like in the other room, there's a liquor that crawls across the window, and then you fight a liquor here in the original game, but. In this game, it's kind of moved around, but uh, there's a couple bodies here that I don't know why I ran into that guy, but he's, like, dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, it's Marvin. He was Officer of the Month. Nice. Can't really read it, but there you go. Officer of the Month, Marvin. He deserved it. He did deserve it. But stuff has been moved around. I also don't know where to put these planks at. I don't, I don't know the meta usage of the planks. But I know, like... Here, I'm just going to put this here so she can't get in. This hallway actually gets kind of annoying later because you have to come through here as Leon. And uh, it's kind of sucky. There's, like, liquors, and then there's, like, other stuff. And it's just... There's zombies. It's pretty annoying. So I, I don't know exactly how to make that hallway the safest. But I tried. You can't say I didn't try. I, I, put, the, I put the planks up on a window. That might not matter at all. But I did try. Record of events. September 25th. We're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night. Well, that's great. Resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. Good. The person, <laughs> the person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. I, I don't... I think they just became a zombie, so. September 26th, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it safely behind the emergen emergency shutters. But surrounded as we are, it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place. We're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment, so we, we remain cut off from the outside world. September 27th, there was another clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m. 12 people died, and there is only a handful of survivors left. Everything is falling into disarray here. David Ford. Things not going too well. I'm pretty sure a similar document could be found in the original Resident Evil 2. I think I remember them talking about, like, the west side of the station being overrun and a bunch of people dying. There's also a map here, I think. Yep. Nice map of the first floor. That'll be good. We can hop out of here. Uh, this is a locked door that we need bolt cutters for. This room got changed a little bit. There used to be, like, a... Um, a painting that you could burn to get a jewel, I think, in the original game. That was beyond this room, but... A lot of stuff has been changed. That was weird. Puzzles and whatnot have been uh, changed and moved around. And I think a lot of things, in general, have been made a little bit simpler. A little bit less annoying, especially when it comes to, like, inventory management. You don't have to carry, like, two red jewels around and other stuff. Guy got his head popped. I know this dumb idiot is still alive, so shoot him in the back of the head a couple times. Uh, I should probably just create some distance. It's usually good to create distance in this game, especially against zombies because they're pretty slow and there's no real reason to not. I don't know why he stood up and then did nothing, but here we are. It's usually nice to get a couple nice splashes in. Messes up the durability a little bit, but... I usually do like to try to conserve ammo that way. It's mostly better to do in, like, hardcore, I think. Let's see. Can't really do... Is there a zombie in here? No, I guess there's no zombie in here. I wouldn't be surprised if some zombies, like, walk through the door and try to... Try to get me while I'm in here exploring, because that usually seems to happen. I don't know if it's scripted or if uh, 
if I just haven't killed everything, but whatever. Storage locker memo. It appears that the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest that the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else would fuck up this badly? I don't know who they're referring to. I honestly don't know. I hope it's not Marvin. I hope Marvin's not screwing up, so... Unfortunately, what, the two and the three key are missing, which means we can't open any of these lockers just yet, because they all start with a two. And if you may recall, we're missing the two key, which would go, like, right there. And we can get 103. No, we can't get 103. We can get 106, which is film. Thank God, that's useful. And 109. So I think the only thing I can get right now are 106 and 109, which is, like, an extra knife? Or is the knife still locked up? I don't know what I can get, but I'm just going to open up 106 and 109 and just take whatever it gives me. Handgun ammo, that's good. I think the knife is actually, like... Yeah, the knife is locked away, so... We got this relatively useless film, I think. I think it just tells you kind of, like... It doesn't even tell you how to solve a puzzle. Like, I don't know what the point of this film is. I guess to show you that, like, film exists and that you should look for it to develop it. Other than that, I don't, I don't really know. I couldn't tell you. But we'll be we'll be coming back to this room later. I also hate the puzzle to get the keys with a passion because I'm really bad at the puzzle. It's like a little memory game, and as we may know, I don't have the greatest memory in the world, and I'm not the best at puzzles. So that should be a fun time later on. But for now, we'll come in here. This talks about gunpowder. And uh, creating different kinds of ammo, which is relatively, let's see, two gunpowders, handgun ammo, gunpowder plus high grade shotguns, shotgun shells, and two high grade gunpowders or magnum ammo. And they give us one little, one little regular gunpowder to start. What the? What the? I love Leon's little quips or things he says. They both have some... Claire and Leon both have some kind of funny, uh... Funny things they say over and over when it comes to shooting zombies and, and other stuff, so... I'm sure that'll be a recurring thing. Also, I have no clue exactly what the benefits are of waiting for the crosshair to, like, fully move in, but, like, outside of better accuracy for the one-shot... I don't know if it, like, does more damage or, like, increased critical hits. I'm not exactly sure, but most of the time it's good to just create distance and, uh, let it close. Is this guy dead? I think this guy might be dead. All right. I remembered some of the solutions to some of these puzzles, but maybe I won't, like, I don't know. It's been a little bit. I don't think I remember this. It's, like, 9, 7, 15 or something. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, just for the sake of the playthrough, I'll probably try to wait until I find documents that that help me open stuff as opposed to just trying to do it based on memory. Uh, even though I, at one point I used to remember a lot of the, the combinations and stuff like that. But it might be a little too, a little too strong. Because there's like a, an inventory pouch over there would be good to get rookies first assignment uh, your mission is to unlock your desk the key to your success is the is in the initials of our first names input the letters in order of our desks there are two locks one on each side make sure you get them both basically your first task is to remember your fellow officers names but you figured that much out right good luck leon by the way it might take you it might take a little work to get scott to give you a straight answer this is from marvin scrawled in a corner between drops of blood be glad you're not here rookie poor marvin I wonder if I can, like, remember these. I think it's, like, Ned? That's See, I remembered that. I can remember useless stuff like this, but, like, nothing else. And then I actually don't remember. Is it MRG? It actually is MRG. Nice. Well, generally, you're supposed to look at these nameplates and figure it out. And the puzzle's generally not too hard. And you can figure it out right now. Oh, there's another document here. 
September 28th, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently, there's a secret tunnel under this place left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off before, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try and find out what I can about that tunnel. Elliot. Poor Elliot. Elliot went and found out and learned how to get out, but... Uh, unfortunately, he, he died trying to figure that out, so poor Elliot. In here, we have a high-capacity mag for Leon's pistol. Um, I, th I think if you wait until you're, like, at zero ammo and then you combine it, you get a little extra ammo, so I'm going to try to do that, but I usually have, like, a really bad habit of reloading very often, and most of the time I just forget it over and over. And then I end up needing to make space somehow. And then I just end up putting the magazine in the gun. But may maybe this time. Maybe this time I'll actually be able to do it correctly. We'll see. Also, there's some nice planks here. I'm not sure if it's a great idea to plank this window up. But I've pretty much always planked this window up. Just so this moron doesn't get in. And who could have guessed it? We're already at the safe room. So please listen to this amazing music. It's so good. It's actually just so good. I love the safe room music of this game. What do we got in here? Uh, these used to be some costume lockers in the original Resident Evil 2. I think if you beat the game... I can't remember exactly how you unlocked it, but you would eventually get a key if you beat the game quick enough or did something. And uh, this is where you would change your outfit slash costume slash whatever they were called back then. I think they were just called, like, costumes. Turn this on, which isn't the best for developing film. Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. But this save room theme is, is probably my favorite piece of music in the entire Resident Evil series. It's just it's just a really good save room theme to me. It's just simple. It's, you know, it's, it's just great. It's tense, it's calming, it's... I think it's perfect for save room music. And everyone's got their own favorite save room music from the games, but this is absolutely, without a doubt, my favorite save room music. To me, it, it just does not get any better than this. It's amazing. Uh, this talks about combining herbs, but I already know how to combine herbs for the most part. Um, they actually introduced blue herbs. No, blue herbs are already here. What did they introduce? They introduced a way for you to, to combine, I think, green and blue or red and blue. I should probably actually read this again so I know know what I'm talking about. Yeah, mixing blue and red herbs. So blue herbs in the original game just just cured poison. Um, I'm not sure if they did anything else. But in this game, if you have a red and a blue herb and you combine them, you can take it. And then you take, like, way less damage. You, you get, like, way tankier. Um, initially, when I when I first played the game, I thought that maybe there was like a way to increase your health, kind of like Resident Evil 4, where if you have the the yellow herb, you can increase your health a little bit. But uh, it's not it's not quite like that. You do get a pretty substantial uh, defense buff when you have those uh, that combination going. I don't remember if it's like 30% or 50%, but it's like a pretty decent number uh, when it comes to to damage reduction so pretty good to use on bosses or when you're trying to get through tough parts there used to be some handgun ammo hidden here in the original resident evil 2 i think it was just like on the ground but the camera angle kind of made it seem like it wasn't there i remember that for some reason but let's develop this film commemorative photo basically guy holding a book and a jeweled scepter which doesn't really I, I guess it tells you how to do the puzzle but it's not really like that much of a puzzle like you, you if you never developed this film you would still do the puzzle just fine so that's uh that's about that and i probably will just save here just get just get a nice save out of the way I haven't saved yet so that if anything happens i can start her back up and a little bit of inventory management maybe I don't think so. I can probably put this away for now. Deal with this gunpowder later. Figure out what I want to do. 
if I need handgun ammo or probably save it for mostly the shotgun or the magnum. And uh, that's about all she wrote here. I wish I, I wish I could stay in here all day and just listen to the music because it's just so good. And it, it hurts me every time I have to leave this room or one of the other rooms that has this song. So, unfortunately, there's other stuff to do. If I could just have that music play the whole time, it'd be dandy. I guess this guy doesn't want to break in yet. It doesn't matter anyway because it's, it's planked up, but... We'll get rid of this man here and his officer friend right there, but she doesn't come alive until a little bit later, but you can take care of her now. Oh, shit. That was close. <laughs> that was actually really close. I think he's dead. All right. Oh, fuck. I reloaded. I forgot. See, I told you. I told you it was going to happen. Basically, for commentary, I just need to repeat, do not really, do not reload your gun over and over again. Because then, then maybe I won't forget. I don't know where she's trying to go. Oh, there's more handgun ammo here. Nice. Give her the knife a little bit. Make sure she's dead. I think she's dead. This knife's, like, already about to break. I think if you go near this window, it'll break. He's, like, banging on it pretty hard. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Doesn't matter, because we boarded it up, so who cares? Don't reload your gun. Don't reload your gun. Don't reload your gun. We got over here another red herb. I'm going to be, like, screwed on inventory space if I take all of this stuff. Though, there is the save room right downstairs, and I can listen to the save room theme a little bit more if I go back. So, a couple benefits there. I can also put the shotgun ammo away, because I won't have the shotgun ammo for a little bit. Oh, cool. It's this puzzle. Awesome. That was the puzzle I was talking about earlier that I'm going to be terrible at. The stupid zombie in there. Uh, we need a valve slash. I don't know what it's called, but basically a valve. I already know the combination to this, I think. I think it's... I don't think it's DCM. I think DCM is a different one. I think this one is cap. But I don't think there's really anything useful in here. Oh, there's more shotgun ammo. Well, whatever. I thought it was magnum ammo, and you can't use the magnum for a while, but... I also need to remember to not reload my gun. Right, I'm going to pick this thing up. We have to go back to the save room anyway. Press a button to light up the corresponding lamp. Light them all up to open the save. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order, so I'm probably going to be stuck doing this puzzle for about 10 years because I'm really bad. I'm basically going to have to like have no commentary at all and then just try to concentrate on it and still struggle with it. I, I hate these things. Sometimes they're like really easy, and other times they seem like really annoying to do. Like Sometimes the buttons are all next to each other, and other times you have to... like They're just like opposite side buttons. It's kind of annoying. Uh, we can put this away. We can put that away. I kind of feel like just combining this handgun magazine now. Just because I know I'm going to screw up and, like, reload it. Examining items. I already know. We'll examine this. All right. This is this is going to be terrible. Oh. All right. Okay. Maybe I can get an easy pattern. So far, it's kind of an easy pattern. Ooh. Dang it. How, how did... I think it was like that, and then that, and... Oh, almost. Wait a minute. Now I've, now I've definitely lost the pattern. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, I did it. Hell yeah. Thank God. Thank God I didn't have to sit here for like an hour doing this stupid thing. And now we got a spare key. Uh, unfortunately for me, there is another one that I have to do way later, but that was that was pretty painless. All things considered. And you know what? I'm just going to say screw it and combine this now because I know I'm going to screw up, and that's fine. So I think it gives you, like... Can I reload this? Actually, it doesn't give you full ammo. So I could have done that earlier, and it would have been fine, but probably not too big of a deal. It does give you a little extra ammo, but yeah, it's kind of whatever. I thought maybe it gave you a full magazine, but it just gives you the a little bit of extra. So I can put the 2 in or the 3, which means I can open 102 or 103. I'd probably rather have the knife, but if I put the 2 in, 
then I can open 208, which is shotgun ammo. And there's a couple knives. I don't know what I should get. Shotgun ammo or the knife? I think I'm just going to get, like, the knife. I don't think it really matters too much, especially on standard difficulty, so. Let me make sure. I need to put it in the three. Is there anything else I can get with this? Because I can't get 203 no matter what, and everything else is, like, closed. And I already have a little bit of shotgun ammo, so I'll probably just get the knife, which means I'll just put the old three in. Let's go ahead and use this. Put it there. 103. Done. Beautiful. We get the knife. Open this bad boy up. Take the knife. My original knife is, like, kind of close to being broke, so not too bad. What else? I should probably put this knife away. Which means we're going back to the save room. Wow. I get to listen to the song again. Wow. Who could have guessed this would happen? Something just keeps telling me to come back in here and listen to the song. I don't know, guys. That's just how it is. So I'll put that there. Put that there. It'll break soon. All right. I got six seconds of the song, and then I'm out. That's all I need. I only, I only need six seconds of the Resident Evil 2 safe room theme to get motivated. So that's good. And now I can reload whenever I want. I can just keep hitting R. Can you hear me hitting R over and over? That's how excited I am about being able to reload again. I think I already got basically everything I could in here. Just want to make sure. I, I know I'm wasting a little bit of time, but... Yeah, I like experiencing the game. I, li I like experiencing it slowly. Makes me happy playing this game. I like this game. I think this is Magnum Ammo. And this is the DCM one. And I'll probably just, like, leave this in here. Because I can't even really use it. So, we'll just leave that Magnum Ammo there for now. Well, you know, I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to take it. Because forget it. I'll probably get screwed and have no inventory space, but... Nice liquor. What in the... They moved the uh, the liquor crawling across the window to there. I guess they I guess they just wanted to give you a little bit more time before they introduce liquors, because you run into that liquor pretty early in the original game. So you consider this a gift for anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they were they were skinned alive. Liquors, we call them. They're blind as bats, but they're hearing more than makes up for that. So long as you don't go running around. Like a guns blazing idiot, you should be able to slip right by them, probably. Either way, make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around them, yeah? Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls. That and I've got a friend to avenge from good old David. Liggers are actually a lot more annoying in this game than the original game. Like you could pretty much at least for Leon, you could at least you could pretty much stun lock them with shotgun blasts over and over again. But uh, unfortunately, in this game, they're a little bit harder overall, and in general, Claire, I think, has the better time with liquors. Um, she gets a grenade launcher that's pretty good against most stuff, and the shotgun is also, like, not bad, but I don't think it's quite as good as Claire's grenade launcher, at least for liquors, uh, which is kind of the opposite from the original game, because... I think maybe Claire did get a grenade launcher in the original game, but she ends up with a bow gun pretty early. And the bow gun kind of sucks, especially against Lickers. I don't think it stunned Lickers at all, so. Unfortunate for Claire in the original game, but. Damn those corporate assholes, they cut me off. After all I've done for them, but if that's how it's gonna be, so be it. I'm gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it, and it's sayonara, suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, maybe I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the next, kill the guy next to you, and I'll spare the others. I wonder what he'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop, so good you had to die. Man, is this fun. I need some music for this. I actually don't know who, I think it's the Chief. The Chief is pretty crazy. Uh, Chief Irons, he's probably one of the few characters that I that I like better in the original Resident Evil. 
uh, as opposed to this one. I think I think his character was a lot better in in the original game, whereas in this game they just kind of make him out to be just like a psychotic lunatic. Um, whereas in the original game he was. He was still crazy, but I feel like he was a lot more, like, cunning and intelligent about things. Whereas in this game, he just kind of brute forces his craziness on you. And, uh, it's interesting. I also don't know what I missed in this room. I mean, probably... Oh, God, that actually scared me a little bit. <laughs> I didn't expect him to drop down. There's something in this... I think it's just this. I don't think I really missed any items around here. I think it's just mostly that. You can also take this knife out. Cause some damage to this idiot early uh, until his arms fall off, and then basically shoot him a couple times. And this way, he won't show up later on when it actually is a problem. Let's make sure he's dead. At least I think that's how it works. And we're pretty much good to move on. Leon, it's Marvin. I need you back here ASAP. Are you okay, Marvin? I've got something to show you. It's important. Copy that. I'll be right there. Alright, Marvin wants to call us back. I can't remember where exactly. I think you fall through over there. But it might be here as well. I'm not sure. Somewhere you can fall through the floor. And I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's going to be this because you have to do a puzzle featuring this stuff to get over there. But that's a little bit later on. I don't think you fall here, and I don't think there's anything even over here. So we'll worry about that later, when the time comes to do that puzzle. But as for right now, we've got a room full of zombos to clear out. I don't think this guy is alive. Not sure, but he's got a knife for us, so that's good. I'm not sure if this guy's alive either. I don't think so. Can I get a head pop? It'd be nice if I could get a head pop. Alright. I don't think I'm going to be getting a head pop. It's usually nice if it happens on the first, like, couple bullets, but... Unfortunately, I'm not that lucky most of the time. Son of a bitch. I love Leon. Alright. Well, it's the old create some distance strat that I was talking about earlier. Oh, there's the head pop. I'm also pretty sure this guy has, like, quite a bit of health, so... Usually pretty good to get a nice head pop on him. I'm gonna leave this on the table for now. I don't know if there's anything else I need to pick up in here. Got this guy eating this other person's butt for some reason. Oh, oh man, I was just talking about how I never get head pops and I'm unlucky, and now I got two head pops pretty quick. Oh, back to eating his butt, I see. All right. Oh, broke that knife. That's too bad. I almost guarantee this zombie's still alive. Yep. Knew it. They like being crafty. Trying to play dead. Sometimes it works, but not every time, you know? There you go. It's one for the road there. I think just about everything's going to be dead in here. And I probably don't need to pick anything up. Use this key to unlock that. So we can get back. I'm gonna pick this up. Especially because I lost the knife, so I have a little bit more inventory. And I'm also gonna pre do this puzzle just for later because when you have to complete this later, uh, there's some annoying stuff that could be going on. So it's it's better to like pre do this puzzle as best as you can so you don't have to move too much stuff later. It's a, it's a little bit faster to do it like this, especially when you might not have as much time later, but I think this is maybe good. So I think that has to be there, and then this has to be moved over, and then these two have to be moved over, but can't do that until we get the other piece to this jack. I don't know what the hell it's called, but I think we're basically done in this room. Another classic piece of music in here. Love it. And I guess we'll just go back and talk to Marvin. I don't know what else there is to do. I need to do a little bit of inventory management anyway. Just a little bit. But we have to talk to Marvin first anyway, so it doesn't matter. There you are. 
Come here. Take a look. Jess. I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. <laughs> I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. All right, well, Marvin is clearly starting to do a little bit worse as time goes on. Doesn't seem like it takes very long for the for the bite to, to fully infect you, so. Marvin's not doing too well. He'll still help us while he can. And before I forget, let's go dump some items. What do I, I don't want this. I definitely don't want the Magnum ammo. I'll take this now and, like, it would probably be better if I go do that puzzle now. Well, I don't even think I can complete it. I'm not sure if I can complete it. I think I can. Either way, there's like a key card, uh, like a weapons locker key card in the room where this puzzle's done. So I need to go over there anyway to get the shotgun, just so I'm a little more prepared. I guess I'll put these wood boards away. And now it's just about unlocking doors. If I could get around all of these pillars and stuff. It's just about unlocking these doors and getting this key out of our inventory. Now this goes back into here. The only thing in here is the safe that I don't want to open just yet because I haven't found the document that tells me the combination and I don't know if I really remember it. I think it's 9:15:7, but I could be wrong. It's it's been a little bit since I since I've played through the game. <clears throat> I clear my throat. It's been a little bit since I played through the game, so easy for me to forget some stuff. And I think this is the last door that I need to unlock. There's also a safe in here, and I definitely don't remember this safe combination. I have no clue. I think this is the last door, though. And it tells you about discarding items, but I already know about that. So we'll discard that. Bam, now we're in this hallway. With more planks to get. So I should probably go back and dump those. I think you can hear the helicopter that's about to crash. Here's the weapons locker key card, very useful. Here's another brochure. The ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince, the pearl that the Queen of the Nile milked dry, the diamond that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the appeal of jewels. This mysterious redstone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origins is unknown. It said that it once adorned a noblewoman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this stone that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But dear reader, one would do well to approach with care for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots. Actually, I don't know how to pronounce that word. More terrible than Caligula. And we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. And none other than our dear beloved Chief Irons has almost presumably bought it because it's here, so... I'm pretty sure in the original game, uh, fucking... I think, I think it's Chief Irons, the police chief, whatever his stupid name is. Uh, definitely likes collecting this kind of stuff. He's a little bit more crazy with it in Resident Evil 2. I'm not sure how much it's gone into in this game, but there's a couple documents in the original game that talks about it. And now we have the scepter. And what can we do with the scepter? Well, we examined it again. There's a button. And now we get the red jewel. In the original game, there was two red jewels, and I really don't remember what they unlocked. Um, I think you put them in this room. And, well, I think it was this room in the original game, and you got something, but I don't remember what it was. I think it might have been one of the, like, chess pieces or a key. I can't, I think it might have been a key. I don't remember. Either way, it's different in this game. Uh, and I said also probably... That helicopter guy is going to be flying over there for a little bit. 
but I, w I would really like to go get the shotgun. Just so that I have it for whatever. You might, you might be able to put it off for now and not really run into too many issues, but... Just generally good to get stuff like that. Just to have it on you. And I'll put that away too. I like backtracking and getting items where I can. Makes it a little bit easier. Makes me feel a little bit more confident. Good stuff. So now we get the old shoddy boom body and a little bit of ammo. Unfortunately, it doesn't come preloaded, so I also want to shortcut this to one and shortcut this to two. So now we got a couple guns, and now I can be annoying and do this the whole playthrough. Just run around and swap weapons. That's what people want to see, right? This is what the people are here for. See me swap weapons over and over. I'll probably try to refrain from doing that too much because I'm sure it's, like, super annoying. But <laughs> just something, it's just something to do while running around, you know? Just make Leon swap over and over. I think we're generally good here. Uh, I don't think I need to save. I'll probably try to keep the... I'll probably try to keep light saving... So that way I'm not saving through everything, but I don't think it really matters. Unless you're on hardcore, I don't think it really matters. And now, I think we're done with everything over there. So now we'll finally let the helicopter crash. Get a little bit of a jolt there. Do I want to take this herb? Probably not. I probably want to leave it here for now, maybe. So, unfortunately, the uh, the helicopter has crashed just as we were about to go through this hall. Um, and, unfortunately, this poor guy is dead or knocked out. And we're not going to help him for some reason. I don't know why, but... I guess we don't want to disturb his body. I guess we'll let him be on his own. And because we don't help him out... Hey! Guess what happens? It might take a little bit, but guess what happens? Claire! Hold on! I'll be right there! Okay! Uh-oh. Whoa-oh. That's not good. Claire. It's so nice to see you. How you doing? How you Welcome doing? Just came out of yeah. nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. Alright, well, if the pilot lived the crash, he's definitely Damn not it. alive now. Thanks, Leon. What that means. Yeah. Dinner time. I think you should go. Don't worry about me, Leon. You take care of yourself. All right, you got it. I'm not the one in but danger right now. Go. Now. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. Yeah, maybe. See you later, Claire. All right. Uh, Marvin, I've got a situation here. I'm surrounded by zombies. Marvin, do you copy? Marvin. Damn it. Well, doesn't really spell good news for Marvin. Oh, there's also planks here that I should pick up. I didn't want to swap that. Why would I want to swap that? Get this crap at the bottom of my inventory. Well, so we also have uh, this cutting tool. Called them bolt cutters earlier, but I guess it's just called a cutting tool. Oh, I guess because we examine it, it tells us that it's a bolt cutter. So I guess that's the benefit of examining it. I also like Claire's Midwestern accent. I feel like it connects to me. It connects with me on like a spiritual level. Though I feel like her accent is uh, probably a little bit more Midwestern-y than mine is. I feel like she has a more Northern mis Midwestern God accent. And uh, Chicago is like pretty Northern, which is where I'm from, but 
Uh, it's not it's not quite as northern as say like Wisconsin or Minnesota. They usually tend to have a uh, little bit different accents depending on where you're from, but feels like she's got a more northern one. Uh, poor Elliot is still not doing very well in this room. He's the guy we killed earlier. Um, I'm actually not sure if any of these guys are, like, alive. I guess not. Now we can get into this room that we couldn't get into earlier. Bam. Good stuff. Now there's a bunch of people that are alive in here. Oh man, that one bullet head pop. This guy's also going to break in. So usually I board this up, but you probably don't need to. I wonder if I should save this for the hallway. Maybe board up the hallway a little bit more. Try and go through it just to board it up. Maybe kill some zombies. I'm not sure. Because like, you don't really have to come in this room very much more than here. And now that he's broken in, it doesn't really matter what I wanted to do. Maybe I'll get lucky and get another head pop as he comes in. Oh, that wasn't even a headshot, so. You bastard. You bastard. Son of a bitch. See, I could have been Leon's voice actor. I'm great at voice acting, right? I'm actually terrible at it. I'm pretty sure this idiot is alive, but maybe not. Flashbang. Flashbang will be really good on liquors. This guy also had handgun ammo, I guess. Oh, shit. Is he alive or no? He's freaking me out, man. Flashbangs are really good for lickers. Uh, it'll stun him for a little bit. I also need to make sure I don't pick up too much stuff because I at least need to pick this up so that I can get access to the main hall, do some inventory management. I also need that. Yeah, there's like a bunch of stuff in here that's really good, but unfortunately I'm full up on my inventory, so. I don't even know if there's any more zombies out here. Everyone's just dead. So I should probably open up this door, do some inventory management, come back, get the rest of the items, do more inventory management, and figure it out. Also, I, I just want to warn everyone now, I usually don't get scared, but loud noises do tend to scare me at times so if you see like one of these moves where like the camera gets like pushed up real fast that probably means that i got that i got scared by a noise or something and like jumped so just letting you know ahead of time if you see one of those moves then you know what happened it's pretty funny and it doesn't even just happen in like scary games like i'll be playing like i don't know i don't play battle royales too much but on occasion, when I do play them, there, there will be, like, I won't expect to get shot. Out of nowhere, I'll get shot, and then my camera will just be like that, because it just scares the crap out of me. So, just want to just forewarn everyone right now that that is a very real possibility. Well, I'll probably store that. I really, I really just need to, like, store stuff so I can get more items and bring them all back, so... I'm also pretty sure Marvin is like I don't I don't think he's completely out of it just yet. He didn't respond to us, but I, I don't think he's like turned yet. I think there, I think we still have a little bit of time with Marvin, thankfully. We got to take all the time we can get with Marvin. Cuz you never know when it's going to end. And uh when Marvin's gone, he can't come back. As sad as it is, you know. I think we're generally done in this area. So I'll do a little bit more inventory management, because that's the name of the game. Inventory management 2. Don't need that. Don't need that. I guess I'll keep this. I need to go do something. Actually, I'm going to take these boards. The red jewel will be used for later to get the magnum, if I can remember how to get it. I might need this flashbang. I should probably keep the knife. Maybe take out these shotgun shells. You know what? I'm going to keep them in there for now. A lot of healing items. I wish I could combine from this menu, but you can't for some reason. Or I just don't know how. It just lets you take it out. So we'll just combine that. Do that for later. 
Take the knife back out. I think we're looking pretty good. It's it's kind of crowded, but I think I think I'll be able to get away with this for now. Because I'm going to be getting rid of this valve and I think this bolt cutter as well. As I backtrack back to the hallway. Still alive. He's not doing too well though, Leon. He's uh he's pretty much done, I think. Unfortunately, pretty much done. So maybe I'll just use the boards in this hallway. I don't know exactly what windows to block up, but... And this asshole is going to come through immediately. God dang it. Dang it! Shit! Man. What the hell? He gets up pretty quick. What the hell? I oh, wait. I have the... Man, this zombie, like... He just keeps getting up. He gets knocked down, but he gets up again. Can't keep this guy down. I like... He's still alive. He's actually still alive. Dude, look how much health this guy has. This guy has so much health. Alright, he might finally be dead now. I'm just gonna board this up just for the hell of it. Because I don't really know exactly what windows to board up. Oh, God. 